magnificent. It's like crunchy in the upper part, and then it is so tender inside and so juicy. Well, hello, I am Jesus, and this is Speedmaster on the way. Today I will cook real salmon, and I will do it in my Weber kettle. So if you are interested, stay tuned and make sure you watch the whole video because I'm gonna give you the tips that will help you to prevent the salmon steaks from sticking to the grate. So let's get to it. Today I'm gonna cook salmon fillets simply because they are my favorite. And actually I think they are way better if you're a beginner because if you get the steaks, they might be a little bit difficult to handle if you are doing it in your charcoal grill or even in your gas grill. So, the first step is to cut those fillets the size you like the most. I would suggest that you get thick pieces, like the way I'm cutting it right now, because it's gonna help you to get proper doneness of the steak. So if you cut them in very small pieces, it's going to be very easy to overcook them while you have them on the grates. And hear me out, because this is the first tip. So you wanna put salt on your fillets at least half hour before you start cooking them because that salt is gonna help you to remove the moist from the surface of the salmon and that's gonna help you to prevent these fillets from sticking while you are cooking them. So for this cook I'm gonna use my chimney starter almost three quarters of lump charcoal because I need a lot of heat in order for the salmon to not to stick to those crates. So if you don't know how to light a chimney starter please check the video it's gonna be in one of these corners and you will get the right info okay so then the next step is to remove the fish from the fridge and then you need paper in order to dry the surface of the fish as you can see in this video so this next step is gonna be our second tip make sure that you put oil on top of the salmon because that's gonna help as well to prevent it from sticking while you have it in the grate so you can use any vegetable oil. In this case, I'm using olive oil because it's just what I have at hand, right? And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of pepper because I like how pepper suits to the salmon. And now that I have put all my spices, it is the time to put it to the grill. Okay, I have just put my charcoal into the grill. And for this cook, I'm gonna use two zones, which basically means all the charcoal is on one side of the grill. And I'm doing it because in case I have any flare ups or I need to move the salmon somewhere, I can put it into my safe zone or cold zone. So now it is time to put the salmon into the grill. Okay, and the last tip for prevent the salmon sticking to the grates is putting oil to the grates. So that's gonna help you a lot. And I'm gonna show you how I like to do it. Okay, just grab your paper like this, dip it into the oil, and then be sure that you cover all the area where you're gonna have the salmon. So you can do it repeatedly fast, just how I'm doing it right now one more time there we go and then because we don't want to lose more time let's put the salmon straight to the crates and there we go we take the first piece and here it comes and then we take the other piece here it comes and then you have to let it be there for at least two minutes. Okay, so two minutes have gone by. It's time to flip them in order to get the grill marks, or at least I hope so. So you have to be very careful. If it doesn't let go on its own, it means it's still not ready. For example, this part, you can see it's moving a little bit. So I can help myself here and just flip it a little bit Let's try this fellow here. It's now actually coming very carefully. And there we go. So you can let it be now, I would say two minutes more, and then it is time to flip it. So the time has gone by, it is time to flip them. So once again, you have to do it very, very carefully. Make sure to be very gentle. And then we flip one, and then let's try it get it from here and there we go so that looks beautiful so once again let's let it be there for two minutes no more make sure you don't let it be there on the hot grates for six minutes or more because then you're gonna have overcooked salmon 
so now the time has gone by it is time to remove them from the grill and once more you have to be very careful take it there slowly and up you go and it is time now to take the other fellow from here very gently and it goes here so now I will finish the other steaks and then we get to taste them now the best part of the video let's cut it and then let's get to taste it so I'm gonna cut it halfway through and then I'm gonna put the camera close so you can actually see how does it look so now let's taste it let's call one small part here and let's go mm -hmm. wow that's very good I have to take just a bit more Wow! Mm. Jeez, I could eat the whole thing. Mm. Magnificent! It's like crunchy in the upper part, and then it is so tender inside and so juicy. Mm -hmm. Well. This is just magnificent. I really hope you try because the taste in this beef is amazing. And it's very easy as you have seen already in the video. So for the time being, I'm gonna finish these fillets and also the ones I have inside. All right, so that was today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you like what we're doing with this channel, please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you the next time.